Hello world, welcome to Machine Learning AI. Today we will discuss estimators, a high-level TensorFlow API that greatly simplifies machine learning programming. So here is the structure of estimators class. We have two types. One is pre-made estimators where you have different type of estimators you can use out of the box. The pre-made estimators are subclass of df.estimator.estimator class where on the other hand we have custom estimators which are instance of the df.estimator.estimator class. So the estimators will give us an encapsulation of a training, evaluation, prediction, and export for serving features. By just defining an export estimator function, you can do training to testing everything. The basic difference between working with pre-made estimators and custom estimators is but pre-made estimators someone already written the model function for you and you're gonna use that with little modifications where with custom estimators you have to write your own model function which gives you great customizability so that's, that's where custom estimator fits in when you want to write your own last function when you want to write your own optimizer when you want to write your own accuracy matrices so there you can use custom estimators and the premier estimators can be used as a baseline like the starting point you can try things out very quickly and then you can move on to custom estimators based on your requirement and the problem statement the main advantage of using estimators is you can can run these estimator based models on your local host or distributed multi-server environment without changing the model do you see that no don't need to change your model you can run it anywhere furthermore you can run the estimator based models on CPUs GPUs and even on TPUs without recording the model that's beautiful isn't it yeah and you can share your model so easily with the other developers and you can write state-of-the-art model with high-level intuitive code and they build graphs for you and they are kind of intelligent and they'll know when to initialize variables when to start queues and they can handle exceptions and create checkpoints so it's it's a great feature so when you can stop anytime and you can restart it it starts from there that's that's a very beautiful feature and you can save all the summaries for the TensorBoard. moreover we don't need to write a session or build a graph the estimators will do that for you okay it's all about the theory of estimators today we will see premier estimator example and in the next coming videos we'll cover custom estimators so premier estimators are the out of the box estimators you know you can see here you can use deep neural network classifier or a regressor or a linear classifier or linear regressor or deep and wide networks which has a linear combined classifiers or regressors so in order to use the pre-made estimators you need to define the input function so the input function will written a feature dictionary and label of specified batch sizes so this is a data set input pipeline this is a very efficient and a new feature added to the tensorflow so using it will help your model to perform better once you define the input function then you need to define the feature columns so let's see that here so we first import the required packages would be tensorflow numpy and and matplotlib and then we load the data so for this example I'm gonna use MNIST as my data so I'm importing it from tensorflow examples tutorials here is a way to import 
the data you can specify any directory here so that either downloads or use if the data is already exists so this is my MNIST data set to which the data is loading afterwards as we loaded one hot encoded labels we are just converting them back to the actual numbers of classes so this is the class 7 or label 7 3 for that particular image and then we also do that for test labels and we'll define some dimensions here for the downloaded data it's unraveled so it is about 1 by 748 or so and there are 10 different classes that is from 0 to 9 okay for more information read about MNIST data set then the first step is to define the training input function as we discussed just before so training input function can be defined from estimator inputs either a numpy input function or pandas input function here we're gonna use a numpy input function so here this is my feature as a dictionary and this is my label as a numpy array or a list and you can specify other arguments number of epoch shuffle batch size or so by default the batch size is 128 i'm going to use that and once you define the train input function it looks like this so the features is a dictionary of shape 128 batch size by 784 each time you are going to fetch 128 examples of the image data okay and then your labels are 128 by 1 once you define the input function you can define a canned estimator or pre-made estimator so for that you need to have feature columns so that it will know what are the features and what are the labels and it work accordingly here we are passing numerical column x and feature columns can be passed as a list so this features can be any numbers so you can append them into a list and you can pass it here and then i want my network to have 512 in the first hidden layer number of units and 256 in the next hidden layer and 128 in the other so here's how we define the estimator i'm defining here a dnn classifier with feature columns as feature columns hidden units is a list of hidden units and activation i'm using relu here and there are 10 number of classes i want to save my model to some path okay you can specify any path here it will save your model there all the checkpoints you can use again and again once the model definition is done or you instantiate the model you can use the model to train so here's how you can train the model so as we discussed the estimator is encapsulated all different features like training evaluation and prediction so here we are going to use the training method by passing the input function input function is train input function and i want to run it for 2000 steps or number of epochs once it completes training you can evaluate the model for that again you need to define a test input function by passing test data and the labels once you've done that you can you, you can pass this test input function to evaluate method of the model so model evaluate on test input function will results something like this and you can see the output as a dictionary and it has accuracy average loss global step and the loss so the classification accuracy on the test data is 96.95 model is doing pretty good isn't it so now our aim is to use this model to predict on unseen data so let's take a few sample images 
into this variable and and the labels just to compare so these are the expected list of outputs and we'll see the predictions so in order to predict on new data you need to define input function for that so remember for pre of the encapsulated features like training testing and prediction you have to define the input functions to pass in to the methods so my x features will take some images data and i'm not passing any labels so it will predict so model predict method will take the predict input function and gives predictions and let's see the predictions so here is the list of predictions prediction is seven hundred percent and expected is seven and predictor two 99.9 percent .9 and expected is two so for the list of the values that are predictor and they are pretty much matched with the expected values so we can say our model is doing pretty good so this is the way we deal with the estimators in case of canned estimators are also known as pre-made estimators so to summarize you need to define input functions for three different encapsulation methods such as training, evaluation, and prediction. You also need to define the feature columns and then you have to instantiate the estimator and then you can train, evaluate, and predict. So this is a kind of flow you have to follow in order to use the pre-made estimators. Thanks for watching. If you like the video please do like share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe for more such videos